guys, it's Queen DJ, and in today's video, we'll be reacting right to episode 4 of Compatents Will Be Dispatched. Let's go and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. Alright, let's see what Six and his harem. <laughs> what kind of bullshit they get today? <laughs> Oh. It always a butt. Elite Four, this ain't no Pokemon. Really snow. Something about this seems like a trap, but you know, okay, Sticks is just gonna be like, yeah, let's go ahead and do it. Snow is just thinking about money, as she should, because shit, I would too. <laughs> I, I think, you know, maybe uh, Precious Baby Girl Alice, she'll probably think like, oh, hey, this is such a scam. Um... <laughs> The other two are just going to be there along for the ride. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> My band of idiots. <laughs> right. <laughs> this is gonna go horribly wrong. <laughs> Grim would be sleeping. <laughs> yeah, let Grim sleep. Oh damn. <laughs> I mean, honestly, it's not really necessary to wake up Grim. I mean, you know, <laughs> wait until the timing is right. Well, shit. Just you? No one else? Oh, okay, never mind. There we go. And she got a rock titan, too? Mm. Hmm? 
Some, yeah. Okay, you guys got this. Make up some damn excuses. <laughs> oh <my> God! <laughs> Good luck. <laughs> oh damn! Like that's gonna work? <laughs> well, I mean, this time you need to blame stuff. <laughs> Just run around. I don't know. Shit. now what Oh my god, I feel so bad for <laughs> Oh god. <laughs> you wanna help us? <laughs> Just <laughs> Bye, Rose. Well, what else was she supposed to do? Hmm? Oh, hey, Graham, you're finally up! Mm-hmm. <clears throat> 
Oh, well, damn, you beat the shit out of snow? Now you can move. Yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I thought of you, Grim, as one of the most important members of this group. <laughs> Six. <laughs> Who knows? He's a man, and the man has needs. Maybe she just comes incredible weak or some shit. <laughs> so she basically becomes useless. Oh, you poor baby. Well, uh, you know, Snow, it's not a way that maybe you or I would want to see an enemy fall, but for him, you know, he's just eating that shit up. <laughs> we all know that later on tonight, he's probably going to jack off to those pictures. <laughs> me 
I just walk up. I'm like, okay, yeet. Like, thank you. Goodbye, deuces. Fuck you. <laughs> Poor baby. Fuck that, I wouldn't be paying for it. All. Yeah. <laughs> okay, Snow. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Got out your sword, didn't you, babe? Poor baby. Keep your little secret, it's fine. Yeah, but you like that about him, right? I mean, even though, yes, he's a big old perv sometimes. I mean, yeah, because my dumb ass is falling for him, too. Mm-hmm. <laughs> he basically this is like this six is perverted but he's very smart and intelligent when it is time to be smart and intelligent but sometimes you know his pervertedness comes out a little bit more than his intelligence and being serious Do you really want to do this though?
Once again, just thinking with your dick. Cause now she heard everything you idiot and now she's not gonna trust you see nice move dumbass how the fuck see this is why <laughs> you don't say certain things <laughs> you don't think people are around. Come on now. We've all learned that. You, If you do, you keep it on the down low. You listen to like maybe text messages or secret words or codes or some shit or hand phrases. And they're like, okay, let's talk about such and such. But now since, you know, you talking about being a spy and shit, here she come like, oh, hey, mm, what you mean about being a spy? And it's just like, oh, shit. Just all I can say is all shit indeed because you are a motherfucking idiot, Six. So now, of course, she's gonna, she's gonna find out whatever it is and she's going to, she's gonna let the kingdom know and then she might get her old job back and then probably Six and Alice will be arrested and kept in jail for what, the rest of their lives or some shit like that? I don't know. But who knows? what the heck is gonna happen next of course because of this little mishap right now i think the group is gonna be a little bit divided you know snow might be on her own and then grim rose alice and six will be on their own together as a group who knows we, we just gotta wait till next week but like damn it snow like oh god it, it, it's it's not only snow's fault it's also sticks if sticks would have kept his motherfucking mouth shut everything would have been okay but no gotta open your goddamn mouth all the fucking time like shut the fuck up oh that cake looks good you like him and said she see most of us girls we're all like that there's always that one guy that we all like and yes it could usually be the perverted one because yeah I've had crushes on like the most perverted guys and such where it's like god like mm, god. if the only if I could compare like an anime character to the guy that I had a crush on he was like the Let's see, a little bit of Meliodas, a little bit of Cosima, and a little bit of... What the fuck is his name from that one show? Oh my god. Um, Issei! There we go, from high school. <laughs> it took me a second, yeah, yeah, Just those three, like, combined. But it wasn't, like, too, too bad as such. But he was a really cool guy, but, like, there were times where, like, most of us girls were just, like, bruh, like, dude, calm your tits down, like, shit. I mean, I know when it's, uh, when it's us girls and we are, like, mm, we are that way <laughs> if we want to talk about that shit. There are some guys who are, like, oh, oh, my God, you shouldn't say that, like, mm. But it's, like, hold the fuck up. This is how we truly feel it in the goddamn moment. But when it's a guy who is, like, perverted as fuck and they go on, like, maybe Twitter or well, yeah, either Twitter or Instagram or hell even Snapchat and says some shit, everybody's like, yeah! Like, mm, like, yes, bro, I agree with you. And then us females, we sitting over here on the side, was like, but, but we said the exact same thing. Like, why the fuck is it this way? And then it's that way for us. Like, what the fuck? Seriously. And, and let me ask this mostly to, like, my guy subscribers to someone, who, whoever you date in the future, 
guy, girl, whoever. Would you rather have a significant other who tells you what the fuck they want or is very quiet and shy about it? Like, if it's if it's me talking to, like, my future boyfriend or husband, yeah, I want to tell them what the fuck I want. Yeah, I'm going to get a little shy about it, but then at the same time, I'm like, no, if I'm really, if, like, I, I'm comfortable, but then at the same time, yes, I can be shy every single time when I want to. And it's because, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because... Mm-hmm reasons but we ain't gonna talk about me (laughs) but um it it just depends on like the person and such but yeah us girls we oh my god i just froze again oh okay continuing where i like left off we we want to tell someone like how we truly feel and what the fuck we want but then at the same time, there are some guys who are always like, no, I don't want you, I don't want to know, and stuff like that. But then it's like, at the same time, you do want to know, because you're curious. Am I right? Yes or no? But then at the same time, it's like, <laughs> so the guy is like, you tell them, and they're like, oh my god, I didn't think you were like that. Well, you know what they always say about the fucking quiet girls, hence me, a fucking quiet, shy girl. Think about that, like, mm. <laughs> But yeah, I mean, honestly, this episode was really good, but um, I just hope that next week, whatever Snow is about to find out, it doesn't really fuck up the dynamic between these two or really everybody because they're just a little cute family. They've been a cute family ever since like episode two, and I would hate for something like this to destroy them. I I want it to be like where it makes them stronger than ever, like, you know, if Alice and both six, like bring Snow, Grimm, and Rose and talk to them about everything and say, hey, because of our mission, this is what we can tell you, but this is the same time what we can't tell you. We can't say this is that and the third under, like, strict contract of what the fuck we have to do for our mission. And then everyone's like, okay, that's fine. We can still help you and we'll still be friends with you, but at the same time, we're going to be a little bit hesitant. Like, you know, almost like Two-Face or some shit. I don't know. But we ain't going to know until next Sunday. But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode four of Combatants Will Be Dispatched. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel and make videos every single day join the master squad and of course i will see you guys officially y'all next sunday for episode five bye guys